You guys are about to see a lot of crazy Lego creations from Bricks Cascade 2018. 2018 yeah. So for those of you guys that don't know what Bricks Cascade is, uh, Bricks Cascade is an annual meeting uh, of a group called AFOL, which stands for Adult Fans of Lego. Uh, and they come every year, it's an all ages show, and they show off all their original creations and cool landscapes and scenery and custom stuff that they've built. So we did this once, yeah. it was an hour long. So we're gonna shoot this again because no one's gonna watch an hour except for the awesome people. They had a bunch of cool art stuff there. Mm -hmm. uh, everything from Map of the World to no, Rushmore. Mosaics, yeah, Mosaics. all kinds of. So the art section is like the first thing you walk into. Mm -hmm. And then there was like this Weird massive- Weird there too. Yeah, yeah, Weird Al, of course. Mm -hmm. he, there was a few Weird Al signs. Yeah, we, call, we saw Weird Al a couple times. So uh, then they had a Star Wars section. Like Star Wars was big enough that it got its own complete section. A lot of other things got grouped into things like superheroes, you know, all that stuff got put together. And there was a separate space section, but Star Wars is its own, you know, yep. entity in this. Here's four scenes from the new movie. Yep. Ben Swallow and all that. Is that Buzz Lightyear? That is the Buzz Lightyear. Moss so, Isley Cantina right there. There's a lot of like hidden Easter eggs and little like characters that shouldn't belong in all kinds of different sets. We kept on finding all kinds of little Easter eggs like that throughout the entire time. As we're going through this, just keep your eyes out. I'm not going to point them out. But there's going to be a lot of, you may even see Waldo in some of this mm -hmm. stuff. It's ridiculous. The larger scale battle. Got to stop and look at this yeah. pod before we go on. Yeah. Custom pod racer, you know, awesome stuff. Yep. I like all the green and the, the mm -hmm. LEDs in the middle looked really pretty. Yeah. This wasn't anyone's pod racer from a movie or anything. This was just someone's custom pod racer. Maybe it will be now though. Yeah. There's, I have there's the been ground. cutting Anakin down to size. Yep. Those are some kids. <laughs> they wanted to be on YouTube. There you go. So one thing you'll notice in a lot of this is the, the grass work, the terrain, the rocks. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it all looks really interesting. And, and when you look and see like how they achieved the different shapes and textures that look organic. A lot of it was, you know, color use and things like that to help get that kind of like gradient pattern and stuff like that. It was really neat. We've got to highlight this one, Death Star Cantina right here. Ah, yes. Check out the Emperor. <laughs> He's just Woo! riding that at, at I think their slogan is like, you're at at the right place. Mm -hmm. This is the larger Battle of Scarif one that they did. Mm -hmm. I like the way they um, you know, have the, the stuff going on up top and on the ground. Yep. Pretty cool. So just tons of Star Wars stuff. That Job is the, getting choked. And definitely the sexiest rendition of uh, Slave Leia. Mm -hmm. Definitely right there. Yep. Those are Ewoks hunting a porg. <laughs> yes. Um, they're not even technically on the same planet. <laughs> There's this is the custom Millennium Falcon that someone did and the, yep. the model that they put out recently. So two, two Millennium Falcons, one giant mm -hmm. one. You can tell how big it is. There's mm -hmm. my hand. And then a smaller one in the back that's actually a set, but this one has some really nice work going on. Yes, this is the one from, from The Force Awakens because it's got the new radar dish on it. It doesn't have the, the classic circle dish on it. All right, so trains were everywhere. And this was, who was this? Ridgefield Brick Built Trains. Ridgefield Brick Built Trains did this one. Yeah, and um, it's it's not just trains, it's also a KISS concert. It's like they threw a whole bunch of stuff in there yeah. and made it like a, a community around the train tracks. Just one giant landscape of all kinds of little bits and pieces. and Yeah. In Legoland, everything's on the right side of the train tracks. Yeah. You ever yeah. notice like how often there are police sets in the Lego City set? And there's always like these really stoked police officers that are chasing after criminals. Like, there are so many sets with criminals and police officers in the city set that crime must be rampant in Lego City. It, it probably is. And then once you get those enlightened sets where you've got like the mm. hookers with guns and yeah. mohawks and stuff. Where could you get them? The real yeah. criminals. Uh, this is a sports arena. We'll just quickly show that. Inside can be yep. swapped out for whatever sports in season. It's huge. That's mainly why it's cool. Yeah. I mean, other than that, it's And this is normally standard. on display at a store called Bricks and Minifigs here in Portland. Sport ball match. Go event. sports. Yay. Woo, yay. Sporting events. Go sports. Get a match point. Uh, so this is off into the superhero realm. That's Lobo. The Bad baddest man in the galaxy. And there's the T-1000. That's Metallo. That's the T-1000. Metallo. Look at the teeth. All right, so it's there's dope. all kinds of superhero stuff here. Yep. Spider-Man Spider holding the Staten Island Fairly together. Just barge in and take care of that. Yep. Ugh. Batman. All the different suits. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not villains. These are suits. Blasters and oh, this cosplay was, stuff. Yep. We'll go through this they had a thing. cosplay section, which was pretty cool. Uh, last year we saw people that actually were wearing their stuff that they made, but this year we just yeah, saw some... It was kind of Portland because they were like, well, we're not allowed to wear some of this here because there's kids. Yeah. I was like, oh, you guys are... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's like Spider-Man's web shooters, there's like uh, Daredevil's uh, arsenal there. All right. Oh, so the Tomb Raider one. Massive Tomb Raider scene. 
<clears throat> There's a lot to appreciate going on here. It's been a while since I've played the first Tomb Raider, the, the new one that came out, not the first, first Tomb Raider, but didn't, isn't this actually how they had it, like they showed it in the opening credit, was like you I ran across remember. and cut to the scene, and I, I, I can't remember if that's what it was or what, <clears throat> but I, I mean, looks really awesome. I want someone to do one where they put like a, a pole through her head as she's falling down yeah, on go down and some raging rapids, you know? That? Right through the chin. I want to see that, yeah. And then, yes. All the Pokemon. And you naming them all without looking at the names, even though the names are there. Yeah. Yep. There's a Kung Fury. This is like the pop culture area. Yep. Just all kinds of pop culture. Everything from Stranger Things to Mr. T to seriously, the disaster artist. Yep. Okay, Portland. If you guys want to do the disaster artist, be my guest. Oh, hi, Mark. Be my guest. Yeah. Ugh. Skim through a lot of it. Hey, Weird Al. There he Weird is. Al number two right there. Yeah. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire, um, I guess, pop culture section. Sonic and Mario right there. Yeah. Not only are the sets different, but like it's just it just shows the transition from the 18 to 16 bit worlds. The first transition, which yeah, was was this. Uh, you know, we got the newer TV, we got everything. Mm -hmm. There's the Enterprise. Yep, in the uh, docking. Yeah, area. which was really neat that they didn't just have it suspended in space. Like they actually took some time. The stacks are so, really awesome. Nice hitchhiker set. Yep, going on there. Uh, GI Joe. The, this was the battles. That they had. Yeah, so just these are battle. these are battles. I mean, they could. Some of them are realistic. Some of them mm -hmm. are not realistic. GI Joe, something I kind of miss as a kid because I was busy messing around with He Man and stuff. Cobra Commander, and Destro, and the other Cobra leader guys that got thrown in later in the series so they can make more toys. Okay, a lot of the battle scenes um, used liberal, uh, liberally used like little red pieces to make blood and stuff. So that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. The snow battle was pretty. All right, now this battle scene right here. These mechs are insane. And um, the, the effects that they're using, like with the flames coming out, the, the mm. way the rockets take off with the smoke behind them, uh, little explosions and stuff. And then look at the effects in the water. Uh, they went all the way so far as to model blasts in the water, gunshots in the water, depth charges yeah. and all that sort of thing going off. Super cool looking. And the splashes and rises from it. Mm. So, Yeah, this one is cool. It's a ginormous... I wouldn't say just pirates because it's got island, it's got a little yeah, castle, they, it's got a little this pirates. Was, this was castle slash pirates. They had it lumped together in one. So kind we of kind of started group. off with yeah. the combination of all mm -hmm. things, and it's just got everything in it. And the world's fastest mill wheel. That's ridiculous. Look at that thing go. The, the, there's like 90 mile an hour water going yep. through that channel. There's white water rapids through this uh, Oh, place. and we've got dragons too, you know? Yep. Dragons fighting pirate ships. Yep, here in the gamer aesthetic castle. <laughs> this is the MSI yeah. ROG Corsair RGB castle. Yep. With all red and black. Extreme gamer edition. But really cool use of dragons blowing stuff up. And then we have a massive battle scene mm -hmm. with so many minifigs and so many different themes all thrown together into different sections. Different, like, different Kingdom Wars. So this was actually a person that was in last year's video, too. Those battle butterflies are very familiar. Battle butterflies. Yeah. It's alliteration. Is, Everyone is the, loves it. Does, I know. Have they registered yeah. that yet as a cartoon? I don't know. Battle butterflies. Flying through the skies. Do, 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 everyone dies. Do, do, do. Other yeah. things that rhyme with fly. Oh, my. I like Saturday these, mornings these like, are scorpion back. people that they did. Like the, I, I, I call them driders because I only have D&D &D reference to frame them with. So this I think the drider things are really cool. Castle, yeah. you know. And then Smaug. this is a massive castle set here with mm. dragon. Again here, I like how they did the organic transition into the inorganic stuff. Mm -hmm. The wake there and the boat, yep. just really well done. The planetarium is really cool. The detail and everything in it, good use of some the of the guy servos. whipping it. Yeah. Okay, I love when they put the LEDs inside. You see it here in this little tavern scene. Yep. The nice flickering light effect. It's really yeah, cool Yeah, it makes looking. it look like there's a fire going mm -hmm. on there. That might be a little bit too violent, but you know. Alice's Castle, ridiculous, because not only was there all this stuff happening in the foreground and just characters everywhere, mm -hmm. uh, layers and layers and layers upon layers, but on the interior was well lit, and there are details and paintings hung inside the yeah, building. Yeah, the paintings that they had, all these like custom, st I don't know if they were stickers or just pictures that they mounted to the thing or what, but they had all this like custom... Right over there picture work done in there and like wallpaper on things and stuff. It's really cool. And this fountain, Alice hanging out down here with mm -hmm. the cat. Um, and Look, this one was looking impressive. Stressed. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't be? There's a nice little interior painting. Mm -hmm. It's like a stained glass thing. That's really cool. Damn cat ruining the whole house. 
with their cat stank. Oh, man, another the castle water set. on this. Yeah. So yeah, this is a beautiful castle. Just mm. let you guys see it for a minute. And this one is one of my favorites as far as um, they, they made the moss or the the rocks look like they have moss on them and stuff. Just the way they mixed in the green and everything mm-hmm. on the bottom, the the trees on the bottom, the grass. And then the way they did the uh, the towers, yeah, it, it looks weathered. I like that they have real. all the different kind of bricks hanging out too, so it doesn't just look like flat planes. Like it has some texture mm-hmm. to the bricks and stuff. All right, we gotta we gotta talk about this kid for a second. So he created this entire world. And oh yeah, this is all like he's borrowing pieces from Lord of the Rings and everything else. Mm-hmm. But he wrote up a story for this, and he's built this massive set. Yeah, and what was that place called again? Uh, Avantia? Yeah, Avantia. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, Kingdom of Avantia. So yeah, we got we got like the full fill-in on the story from this kid. There's the flash right there running up the side because awesome. Why not? I mean, he's yeah. do whatever he wants in his own universe. But there's the bad guy, obviously. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. It might be a good guy. Could be misunderstood. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so you want to 3D print your face and then have it put onto a Lego compatible block. Uh, they look blurry, but I think it was actually in focus over there. Yeah, they just kind of have they come, that they come out weird. Blurry. Right, this is blurry, but it'll mm. it'll focus in a second and you'll see that even when it's focused, it's blurry. Oh, oh. god. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I want to go home. Oh god. Bunch of easter eggs in here. You guys can see them. Go through and see what you can find. Let me skip through this. <laughs> this music gonna make it into the final cut. Yeah, just adding some nice searching for stuff music for him. <laughs> Alright, you're welcome. So this is all based off the book Dinotopia, which if you never read it when you were a kid, you had a sad childhood. Uh, so Dinotopia is about a world where people and dinosaurs grew up Side by side, how they use dinosaurs in their everyday lives. Oh, you mean like in the Bible? Yes. Like when dinosaurs and people coexisted? Oh, you six... mean facts? You mean? <laughs> facts yeah. like the Bible? Yeah. <laughs> Behemoth? This, this giant bron- brontosaurus, brachiosaurus, didn't exist thesaurus, fire department team is pretty rad. All right, this is Victor's Nissan Xterra. Yeah. Uh, everything on here is a Lego uh, piece except for the wheels because... It's remote controlled. Yeah. And, and also the infrared mm-hmm. sensors on the top yep. right there. And the, the controller is all Lego based too. It's all infrared sensors and stuff. So, hi, Victor. Dude, Thanks for being freaking, a fan. Cool. This looked awesome. Good job. Thanks I don't for like using the word fan. Community member. Thanks for being a participant. Community member. Everyone gets a trophy. All oh, right. So this is the, this is the Lego Technic <laughs> Super Center where they have just all kinds of balls being moved around with all kinds of different machines. Yep, that's all it is. Yeah. Just... Dun, 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 Next one. Ah, uh, this is the... These uh, guys are back. So the guys who did the uh, Forest Mechs mm-hmm. came back this year with City Mech Division. City of Mecca. Was, City of Mecca, is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, that's what they called it. Uh, so so, yeah. CMD, City Mech Division. Yeah, City Mech Division. So these guys uh, last year had like this whole forestry scene with all kinds of like lumber bots and stuff like that. And so this year they extended it out even further. And this is actually one that's of the, the lumber, lumber bots, bots from yeah. last year getting repairs because it needed work after last year, according to the guy. Um, but there's all kinds of Easter eggs and stuff hidden in there. There's like Doc Brown working on something and you can see it. So really cool. Sets really awesome mechs. Yep. Like there's like construction mechs and fu- policemen mechs and firemen mechs. Like all kinds of just in a cool future where people use mechs for everything. It's almost like the city mech division. Saw this last year, but uh, look at that. Yeah. Man, the the design on these. It's super duper cool. Really clean and interesting. Mm-hmm. And the way he can do curved sets with lego is also really impressive if you guys didn't see it last year this design is really cool and then a bunch of cool space stuff coming right up yep oh yeah so brick rogers as they call it so this was based off of um they had a minifig that came out with one of the like blind minifig series that had that like helmet that you see here with that <laughs> retro blaster and stuff and everyone kind of just fell in love with that one particular character and then like used it for entire themes of things it's got that whole 70s Space Deco, we'll mm. call it. I made that up. I'm not, it's probably a thing, but yeah, like those 1950s pulp. Yeah, 
comics about yeah, it was space more, more and stuff. 50s. Yeah, Monorail City, Streets of Dystopian Dreams. I want to live in Monorail City. There's so much going on in this. The it, lady that was explaining to us said that it had all kinds of different inspirations and stuff mixed in. If you look at the backstory, like after an apocalypse or whatever, the all bad corporation takes over. I can trust that company. Yeah, just, yeah. I, I guess at least they're not trying to pretend. They're just, yeah. we're, we're the all bad company. We're the devil you know. Yeah. So this has something that's inspired by the stacks here, mm -hmm. except there's lots of cafes and like bars and stuff mixed in. On the other side, you've got like a city with a cinema, stuff going on in the streets, just layers and layers of crazy things going on in there. Look at the all bad corporation again. It's all black. It's all black. I've got a feeling that maybe no one's ever been bad to these people. They associate the all black thing with evil. Mm. I mean, or it's just fun for throwback purposes, but mm. some of these are so big that we could do a video on like, and just get nerdy about one set. Yeah. We could make, like, a five-minute video on one set. Mm hmm So. Like, this is so much stuff in it that we might not even be doing it justice for everything that was in it. Like, yeah. Yeah. And there's bigger coming up. Mm hmm Okay, yeah. Robert Sprang was there last year, and his sets are not huge. They're what I would consider to be practical. Yep. Space sets. Um, completely original IP. Sort of have an insectoid look to them. Mm hmm And there's, these, these are things that LEGO could totally make. They're super cool looking. If like, Lego was interested in doing their own IP. I, I would build, I would buy and build that set in a heartbeat. So Lego, Robert Sprang. Give him a job. Yeah, it's it's practical, it's cool. Yeah. Steampunk. Steampunk, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That's a huge Nemo. Yep. That's Nemo's uh, uh, Nautilus. Nautilus. Yeah. Yep. We want to mention the gentleman robot. Yeah. Can you hear his voice in your yes, head? Yes, I can. How is his voice? I say. <laughs> Very good, sir. I will chop him down at once. Yes. Are you meat bags in need of assistance? <laughs> you can still play even when you're old. 40, right out. Yeah. Fun and Actually, most Lego sets are only like 9 to 99, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. So all those people that work so hard to live to 100, no more Lego for you. Most fun you're going to have is a whiskey and a cigar. Yep. There was Transformers, Gundam, and Zoids. If you don't remember that show, it was a show. Nice little beachfront resort. Couple cabana going on mm -hmm. with this guy here with the pentagram shirt and a guitar on the beach. He made a wrong turn and ended up in this yeah. like bright and colorful world. This is the Phoenix roller coaster, and it's a completely functional roller coaster. In order to make this work, what they did was they took well, they had to mount the the track sideways, and they had to do two layers of it, just like a real roller coaster. So this mm -hmm. is similar in design and, and architecture to a regular roller coaster. Yep. That way, it can do the full loops. You know, the Even tracks the on the top and bottom. it up here. Mm -hmm. ch -ch 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 -ch. This guy could probably, by hand, build a real roller coaster now. I, I would definitely I would trust it. go on that one. Yeah. All right, then we had an entire amusement yeah. park over here. It's they didn't name anything the real thing, but that's pretty much the Gravitron, the Vomitron, whatever. Because yep. I wanted all the blood to be mm -hmm. sucked into the, my back. You got a double-layered carousel. Got the scrambler going on yep. over there. Dude, look at that one. Look at the motion. Yeah. I believe that's called the spider, but I want to go to a carnival now and break everything. Yeah. I mean, uh, ride the rides. Ben's Funland. Is that Ben? That might be the titular Ben. Could be Ben. Mm -hmm. No guarantees. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of difficult to get through because there's so much of it. Uh, I wouldn't mind going and finding some of the people who did the really big sets and just trying to like get into it and like make a video on it, but that's yeah. all going to be like... Is that something that people want to see or not? Do you guys like the Lego content? No. Like, I wonder, like, how many hours it took him to build that Phoenix roller coaster thing. Like, Hun hundreds. Probably, yeah. yeah. I want to know what your favorite set was in the comments. Let us know. Um, and then let us know if you guys want to see more content like this. Also, head over to the store. Yep. Epic Pants. Is that your Tesla shirt? Yep. Tesla. You have a Tesla shirt. This looks kind of like Lego. Pixel art and Lego, you know, they're similar. And grab one of these 3360-based mice while you're there. All right, we'll see you guys online. And uh, last but not least, thanks to our Patreon subscribers. Uh, you guys are awesome. See you Thank guys you. later.